Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I got another short video here. Uh, this is a test on a 2004 Jeep Liberty uh, instrument cluster. Customer concerns is uh, he actually took the cluster apart. This is for Ray K right here in Virginia. Uh, he took his cluster apart to do some, uh, I think something on the four wheel drive light. And um, after that, none of the needles are working good. And he told it was the stepper motors. I said, well, if I have to replace the stepper motors, then this is the price. If I have to do the calibration, because that's what I thought it was, um, then it's a different price. So obviously, a lot less expensive. And that's what I'm uh, checking right now. I saw now <clears throat> all the needles were pushed in too much and they were in the incorrect place. Uh, with this uh, instrument cluster, you did do need to do a calibration or you can just mark the needles and then put it back you have to do the calibration i'm going to show you i'm already fixed this too i still have to work in the um, fuel and temperature and for this i have the uh, scanner connector i'm using the um, hotel elite see as you can see right now the needles are reading 7000 3000 1000 and zero same thing with the speed this is the test that Chrysler Jeep do for their clusters um, and then you can do the checkout for this again I am going to show you um, this is the pinouts it's a very um, very small 20 pin connector on the back of the uh, instrument cluster you'll see the pictures when I'm done with this I'm going to put them at the end of the video um, all I need for this one ground all the powers um, make sure that you if you can see uh, pin 14 is the PCI bus which I'm using and pin 2 and the DLC to get communication with the uh, scanner and this is just a schematic that you can see you know kind of like everything that you need for the cluster to work uh, obviously I don't have the BTSS security connected but uh, it's not a problem to actually do the sweep test or anything uh, again we're not uh, doing anything and that's what it says no buzz is because there is no immobilizer let's say connected to it um as usual i take a picture of how the instrument cluster and actually does a, a picture with the instrument cluster clean but as you can see all the gauges were just uh in the wrong place and you can see on the picture how much push in that is in you don't have to push them all the way in because otherwise they will drag in the face of the instrument cluster uh, so just you know they're make sure they're in and I will take pictures of all the faces of the cluster make sure if it's any broken tab or anything that I will record for my records and here is uh, as you can see that's uh, very easy very nice from Jeep that puts the pin numbers right here 1 to 10 and then 11 to 20 and it's pretty pretty self-explanatory as far as uh, that's what I wanted to show you well I will get that cut out all right, so yeah, this is uh, just a, a DLC connector. I always put it, everything, all the information that I need to on, so I can grab it as any time I want. And then, you know, the PCI bus, which I also have the pinouts, color diagrams. Yeah, the, you can see it on the color diagrams if you go over to pin 14 right here and we follow it. Uh, that's the PCI bus, which is, you know, connected to the Sentry. That's the BTSS, as uh, they name it on, on the pin out as just the immobilizer and then you got pin 2 on the pci bus that's what you know that's uh, it's been in the year for many many years it's just a one wire communication and that's just the way they do it so it's pretty easy for those of you know working electronics or working vehicles that uh, are familiar with this uh, so again you know i just connect the scanner everything is good and i will be doing again um, you know, you don't do a complete uh, scan of the of the vehicle. You select it manually because it's now obviously no PCM or anything. And you go to instrument cluster, and then you get into. Uh, let me just get out of here. Uh, you go even to active apt, active tests if you want to. You know, test individual lamps. Uh, do you want to see the data stream? No. And then we can. Uh, looks okay that is actually on the right side so yeah you can see how the meal is going on and off and that's the test all right so and you can do all the tests uh low coolant indicator if it's present on the um cluster 
it will do something and if it's not and then looks like we don't have that one in here so but yeah you can go and select uh things that you know let's say you um the seat belt yeah that's something that we know for sure is has to be so i'm going to do the same thing um uh, right now and as you can see it's right there and it comes off all right so that's also a test you can do with this uh just to you know do us uh, a test for individual balls and if you want to do the full test then it's like i'm i'm saying you know in here and i'm i'm sorry i can put the computer on a tripod and then show you how i do it but uh it's just it's a hit and miss uh of doing it so you just do this and it's going to start doing the sweep again and all the tests of the complete chime and everything and you see how it goes in increments and then you can see if it's matching what it has to do and the gauges are working properly so i will not change any uh, stepping motors because they are working it's not a skipping any position and it's doing what it's supposed to be i just need to adjust it so all i do as i'm going to do here um, is remove the needle which is not all the way in all right so and then let me just do one with you guys here so you can see what i do is usually i just put it I'm gonna to have to go on the side so I can see the actual pin and I put them on the top like of the little and then I make it go on the right side of that see how it's like I, I when I put it you see you have like the two stops right the minimum and the maximum obviously in the speedometer and the, in the tag you only have the middle uh, the, the minimum so what I do is I put them almost on the top of that pin and then I slide it over to the right that on the jeep and chrysler don't push it all the way in because obviously you need to do the test again so i'm going to run the self-test one more time and again that's going to go in increments and that's what we're looking for you see how it goes to full three quarters medium quarter and then empty and then drops down so one more time and that's what you do you know just go and see make sure it's matching what you need I haven't pressed it, so right there. Remember the uh huh is matching the zero perfectly. Quarter, medium, three quarters, full. So that's that's how I just you adjust the needle. So everything is working good in here. So that is no problem. And then let's take a look at the temperature since we're here. I mean, might as well do it with you guys so we can all do it together, right? You see, that's not right. And then you can see it's off. You see how that one is not reaching. You know the right spots the speedometer is, really, is working good so you wait for the for the test to finish and we can um, do the self test again let me wait for that to start again oops i missed that one so we have a little hard to see yeah, because of the angle but i think it's perfect let's do it one more time I'm in the house, so I'm trying to not make sure it's not recording my wife and my mother-in-law talking. But so the angle is like right there. Mm -hmm. So that works. It looks like she's fine. And that's it. So that's how you do the calibration. And it works good. So hopefully this can help somebody around the world, around USA, uh, in my beautiful country, Costa Rica and um any place i got a lot of audience from australia canada thank you so much everywhere that you guys are watching my videos don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed to the channel and make sure that you hit that bell so when i'm uploading a new video you can uh you know take the experience of sometimes things you don't do but it's i think it's interesting i do love electronics for me this is so uh i don't know relaxing it takes my head away of problems. So I, I forget about many, many different things. It's just doing the things that I do enjoy in life. And I'm a happy person. I try to share that and, and share the knowledge with everyone that is eager to learn. Uh, again, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.